all Canadian provinces have a provincial flower, but how many can say they have a provincial dog? Mm -hmm. The Nova Scotia duck toller is agile, a quick study, and a canine ambassador known around the world. CTV's Kellen Sundahl won the story lottery today and spent the day with the province's four-legged ambassadors. At Salty Dog Kennels in Ardois, Nova Scotia, life is a little unleashed. We call them the, uh, the, the fluffaloes. It's not a herd of buffaloes, but a herd of fluffaloes. Shelly and Steve Hutt breed Nova Scotia duck tollers. They had three litters this spring, a total of 17 puppies. <laughs> oh my god, I can't breathe. Oh my gosh, you're all coming home with me. Okay, so they aren't actually coming with me. All are already spoken for. The puppies will soon be headed to their new homes. Hey, Nokia, sit. Like the six-month-old Toller. Nokia was bred in Nova Scotia and is growing up in Halifax. Breeders say they make good family pets, are versatile, and can live in the city or country. They can go from a 40-acre field to an apartment living as long as they're active and have jobs and are, have outlets. They're happy no matter where they go. The Toller is a canine ambassador recognized as the provincial dog for Nova Scotia. The tolling retriever was developed in Yarmouth in the early 19th century, bred for hunting. The dog's playful actions lure curious waterfowl within gunshot range. The dog is sent to retrieve the downed bird, or in this case, a decoy. Get some birds. They're working dogs. They're a sporting breed that uh, needs a job to stay busy and, uh, and to keep them happy. And whether it's in the field or uh, one of these other activities that we've demoed today, it's. Uh, it's very important to, uh, to have something for your dog to be active in. The toller is highly intelligent, easy to train and has great endurance. They are team players and compete in agility, hunting, obedience. Nine-year-old Murphy is Susan Hilt's first toller. She now has three. They're just all round dogs, so we were really attracted to that. We're an active family, and I wanted a dog that could go on long walks, who would want to run and play and fetch ball and just have fun and be outside, so they're great. They're fantastic that way. Find it. In this test, Murphy must sniff out his owner's scent on one of about a dozen barbells. He's placed as the top toller in Canada three years in a row. The wide smiling dogs are starting to fetch more attention. Well, they're still considered a rare breed, and uh, but the secret is gradually getting out there. The dogs are being bred all around the world. The Huts has sent their puppies to many provinces, states and countries. But they do like when a Nova Scotia duck toller stays in the province and close to home. Kellen Sundahl, CTV News, Ardos, Nova Scotia.